next presenter uh, ca ashish shajde and uh, his topic is auto deadline reminder system on email for income tax and gst ashish over to you hello good, good evening all of you first of all i would like to thank the ai in icai committee and president sir for giving this opportunity to all of us to present our use cases in this hackathon episode 3 uh, third season episode 1 Uh, i am here with a small very easy kind of a uh, automation system that all of you can make in your offices and that is not only limited to your income tax deadlines and gst deadlines but you can also make it for other compliances as well so i'll start with a small presentation first and then we'll move on move ahead so this is the small presentation that i have so this it talks about i hope you are able to see the presentation yes we are yes yeah it is busy. yes so the problem system is that many a times we miss the deadlines and that is the uh, problems that leads to uh, penalties and fines and there is also uh, manual tracking but then it fails sometimes so we have made an automated tax reminder system automated email reminder system so to say the technology that i have used is uh, google forms google sheets and app script basically the entire google workspace infrastructure i have used using uh, gpt i have coded the app script uh, google forms google sheets google app script and triggers and C uh, chat gpt along with ca gpt i have used so how the workflow looks like i have made a small simple form google form uh, in which the user enters the data for the type of uh, reminders he or she wants to get then uh, the entire data is taken to sheets and from there the app script runs and automated emails are sent as per the trigger trigger is based on the deadline date now there are a lot of other scalability things that i will tell you once i'll demonstrate my use case uh, first and then i'll tell you that how uh, it can make it can be made scalable and what some other things that will make your system uh, very you know smooth and without any flaw i will tell you that so uh, they have to submit the form and in the sheets it is automatic you don't have to go it to it again and again to check only you can if you want to check you can check your mailbox the person who has created this automated system and in that sent mail you will find all the people who have received the mail so it uh, works like that and you can check the script you can check the sheets afterwards and there is a uh, what you say the time stamp on which the mail is sent that is also recorded so we'll quickly go to the solution update now i'll stop the share and i'll start with my different screen yes i hope you can see the screen now yes is my screen visible no no not yet visible not yet okay let me share Yes, I hope it is now visible. Yes, now it's right. visible. So this is the simple form in which I have asked for email, then the name so that I can send personalized mails, then email ID again because I have uh, two times it is asking for email because in the settings I have put on collect email ID so they will collect email ID automatically. You can remove one, no issue with that. And then type of update is GST or income tax, whatever. We can make it for. some other compliances also now what it does exactly this type of mail it shoots to the user for example here santosh kushwaha is one of the users who has logged in for gst deadlines and this is the mail that has been sent on 12 3 am now you can also uh, send this mail beforehand like 5 days before 3 days before so that it works as a reminder system okay so this is the type of mail they will receive now you can see the beauty of it it will say due date alert and their gst so the type of uh, service they have chosen for example somebody has chosen income tax so they will say like this income tax and then the description of what is the event that is going to happen so it is all coded in the script and this is the due date everything and the beauty of the system script is that it will run year on year basis you have to also understand that always the due dates they are not never preponed so we, once we know the due dates we can set it once uh, the due dates and then we can use the system again and again on yearly basis if the law changes what we have to do i will tell you 
So what this what this form does? It collects the data in this uh, sheet, in this Google Sheet, where it is collecting all the data. And from this data, I take it to another sheet that is, you know, uh, I have created two more sheets where I have put on the due dates. Now you have to understand that I have put the due dates in a very specific fashion where I have put the month number, number one, number. This is month number. This is not month name. This is month number. This is the day. That is the date. And this is the description of the deadline. Similarly, I have done it for income tax. I have used... I have used CA GPT to get these dates. Okay. Then uh, in a third sheet where I have created the email log, what I have done is I have created this timestamp that is sent. Okay. Now I'll show you the script that I have generated using chat GPT. So this is the script that runs. So you can use this script by going to Google Sheets, extensions and app script here, and you can paste it in the code GS that it opens and you can save it from here, run it once, provide it all the authorizations and it'll get saved and it'll run automatically. Then you can set triggers. Here are the triggers that I have set. There is only one trigger that I have set. Now, what this <clears throat> what this trigger is doing every night from 12 a.m. to 1 p.m. 1 a.m. It checks that whether any due date is falling and at that time it shoots the mail. So you can see in the sent item also, the mails are being sent at around 12 in, at night because then the script is automatically running and then sending the emails. So this is a small demonstration of how you can automate these things. Now, uh, one thing that I want to tell you that in this deadlines, what I have done, you can see, I have not provided the year. I have provided the logic to the script that you have to take the year as per the current year, which is running. Okay. So that is why my system, it gets, it keeps on going for year from year. Okay. Secondly, as I told you that you can also modify the script and tell it to, you know, shoot the emails five days before, three days before, two days before. And this is very, very beneficial for our clients also to tell them about which date deadline is coming. So we can give this system to our clients also. Another thing that comes is that, sir, whether these mails will go to the spam or not, or they will come in the inbox. So you have to understand that Google will shoot your mail in the spam if it is uh, seeing that so many items in the email are repetitive, but we have done what we have done is that we have changed the entire uh, subject. So it is not a spam mail kind of a thing. We have also sending personalized mail. So again, it will not go to spam. Okay. So that is what some parameters of the mail you can change to make it unique so that the Google doesn't put your mail in spam box. It goes to the inbox correctly. How you can scale this model, you can, uh, in, in place of the Google form that you have used, you can make a, a HTML script and you can make this available on your website. From there, the data will be directly pulled in the Google Sheets. And then again, the app script will run. And again, your clients will get all the uh, uh, updates. And even your staff, you can also do it for your staff so that they you don't have to tell them the dates and they get the updates. Also, when you create HTML code, there are a lot of things that you can do. You can ask them for their mobile number. You can also limit that for one user only. You can also send them WhatsApp, uh, uh, WhatsApp statuses of this uh, deadline reminder. So a lot of things you can do. Also, you can make a cal you can add a calendar reminder to your script and it will automatically push it through your calendar. So this is a very, very scalable model. Now, sometimes they will ask you ask me that uh, what will happen if uh, so many will subscribe to the mail. Now, you have to always understand that I'm using a personal mail right now and personal Google script and personal uh, Google Sheets. When you use a Google Workspace license or you integrate it with any of the business providing softwares, Okay, then it becomes uh, ultimately scalable and you can use it for hundreds and thousands of uh, your clients and uh, sending updates. So then the system doesn't become redundant. Also, the beauty of this is that you can add and change this sheet and automatically you don't have to rewrite the script or anything. You can just change this dates and again, your system will be full-fledged and you can use it for different deadlines as I've already told you. 
So this was a small demonstration of my use case. I want to show you that how I used chat for it. Uh, I actually asked chat that I am a non-tech person and you have to act like a software expert who have to guide me on Google app script. So it gave me some code. Then I asked him, asked it to, you know, let me go step by step. Then slowly I moved and, you know, you have to be patient enough. One thing more I want to tell the participants as well as my CA members that whenever you are looking for automation, for last two minutes, you have yeah. to be very, very clear with the steps. Okay. You have to visualize it first that what is going to happen, where my data will come first, from there what I want, whether I want, what all logics I have to put in my code. And then you can use chat GPT to write that. Also, I'll show you that in my script, I have made it personalized by writing like this is the code. And I have made it personalized. I have added my name also there that this is sent by this person. So you can do iterations with it. You can make changes to it. You can make it more personalized. You can add different logic. You can add your customer number, your customer ID, your client ID. You can create that client ID using app script by putting some logic. Okay. And that will be very, very unique. So that all you can do and being from a non-tech background and just using GPT for different purposes. I have been trying so many things. I'm also, you know, in HTML code, when you put a phone number, you can also write this IP info API. You can use this IP info API so that uh, from where, which country that person is logging in, he will see the flag of that country. Okay. Based on the uh, GPS system. So they can, you can make this uh, project scalable, not only for income tax and GST deadlines, but for other deadlines also. There are some other compliances that the client has to follow. So for that also, you can make such type of automated email system for them. Uh, I hope that my deliberation is clear and crisp. crisp. Thank you so much. Thank you once again, AI and ICAI for giving us this opportunity, this hackathon.